Okay. Herr Uflin, bitte. Uh, thank you. Uh, I wanted to ask the Commissioner a bit more about this issue of fake news, and she spoke about no definition having been agreed. Does she agree with me that it needs to be a tightly uh, drawn definition, uh, focusing on the actual assertion of uh, provably incorrect uh, claims, uh, perhaps even with a level of, uh, of, of um, uh, it being, that being a deliberate attempt to, to deceive. Because, for instance, politicians often selectively quote facts uh, to strengthen or, or their case or weaken somebody else's. For instance, the euro area. Mr. Draghi would probably say the euro is a success. Look at the growth in the last uh, 18 months in the aggregate. I, as someone who believes the euro is, is a bad thing, would say perhaps look at the long term, look at the lack of growth of the Italian economy over 15 years, or disaggregate the current growth and focus on some of the southern members. Uh, and neither of us would be guilty of fake uh, news. Um, uh, on the other hand, I remember the day after the American presidential election, there were some websites putting things on Twitter which looked more than just a man in the pub who were claiming that Donald Trump had in fact won the popular vote. Now that clearly was fake news. There are numbers behind that and he hadn't. He'd lost it. Fake news. We must all be able to uh, agree with that. But you will also probably agree that public trust in public authorities has also been on the wane. And there are colleagues on the committee today who seem to be suggesting that the, the creation of some kind of verification unit could be with the, the end in mind of securing a more pro-EU integration parliament in the next parliament. And if you get into the slippery slope of a, a verification unit asserting things as fake, which, which strain to a broad definition, then you'll further erode public trust, I suggest. We well, yes. Yes, we need to come up with that type of definition, which will be able to stand up to all tests, of course. Uh, we can't have uh, a definition which is a variable geometry. Obviously, it's not opinion, it's not irony, it's not satire. That, that's not what we're talking about. But in this definition, we really have to be very careful that we specify and identify criteria that we all agree upon. And I would really stress this, um, you know, not a ministry of truth and not a censorship either. What we want right now is to safeguard, on the one hand, our fundamental freedoms, a right of expression, a right to uh, education, but also we have to hold on to these new, techni new technologies, uh, platforms, uh, IT, etc., and, and their ability to create jobs and startups which can grow. It's a highly delicate issue. There's no doubt about it, but I fully agree with you that as far as the definition is concerned, we have to be very, very careful.